Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another battle report. This is a game of fantasy battles, the Ninth Age, and I'm playing my Vampire Covenant against an uh, army of Infernal Dwarves. Uh, my second army against this, uh, my second match against this new army. So this is the opponent's army um, from. Uh, right to left for some reason um, we have a giant who is a big brother uh, with a uh, infernal lash a uh, titan Kadim titan some vassal cavalry with a champion i believe uh, yes um, some vassals with spears um, vassal levis spears and shields musician son of bearer uh, and flaming banner and a uh, vassal shift more uh, vassal levis this these with uh, pirate weapons and bows musician and a chief and with them is also a uh, vassal conjurer uh, who's a an adept in pyromancy next we have a infernal artil artillery a titan mortar that is kadim blessed 21 disciples of lugar with pirate weapons musician and son Another uh, Titan mortar, mortar with Kadim Blessed. Oh, and in this unit here of um, Lugar, we have the General, a Prophet, a, a Prophet of Lugar, who's a Wizard Adept with Alchemy, and he has a Magical Heirloom, and a Vizier uh, Battle Son of Bear, who has the Shield with Willow's Ward, uh, and he has bas Basalt Infusion, Infernal Weapon, and Golden Idol of Shamut, and Obsidian Rock. And those are the only three characters in the army. A Titan Mortar, as I said, another block of Vassal uh, Levis, same as before, uh, and another block of Vassal Levis, same as before. This with bows, um, another, another block of uh, Lugars, um, same as before, no characters here though, and another giant also with the Lash. Um, here's the table. Um, we have three hills, water, a forest, and an impassable drain, and a ruin. And my army, uh, we have a unit of Baronites, 11 of them, with Band of Speed, and for command, and with them is a, vam vampire, cour a vampire courtier, who is a battle son of bear, um, on a horse. He's got the um, um, uh, red thirst uh, weapon, so he uh, heals his unit, and basalt infusion for some save and uh, a lucky charm. We have 40 ghouls. Uh, oh, and he, he has the uh, uh, indom indomitable will, so his unit is stubborn. Uh, we have some ghouls, 40 of them with a champion. We have some skeletons, no, some zombies, 20 with a cadaver wagon. We have some skeletons, I think 43 of them, something like that. Uh, full command, oh, full command on the zombies as well, no champion of course. Um, with the skeletons we have a necromancer, um, master of evocation, who has uh, a blinding scroll, binding scroll, I always get that wrong, um, and a scepter of power. We also have the general. Another von Karstein uh, vampire courtier, so only a small vampire, vampire. Um, and he's got Hour of the Wolf, so he can raise bats and uh, uh, wolves um, beyond starting size and create new units. And he has the Necromantic Staff, um, so he has an extra raise spell. Uh, next we have the Barrow Guard, big unit of 36 of them I think. Uh, with the Black Sandal of Sagwadst and full command. And the Barrow King with them, who has a uh, shield and sword, uh, and the Legend of the Black King on his uh, armor, so he has a pretty good save. Um, yes, um, and he, he, he also has the uh, Kingslayer. So for every character in contact with the unit, he, he gets better. We have some Spectral Hunters, a unit of five bats, uh, bat swarms, that is, and the unit of three, three vampire spawn. 
close-up of his uh, right or on my, uh, his left flank, I guess, on my right. Um, this is after his first movement. He's uh, moving forward, moving on to the hill so he can threaten me. And the other flank, uh, again, moving forward, pretty uh, straight forward. Um, shooting or magic. Uh, I think in in the magic phase, he got um, the um, the uh, uh, hereditary spell, uh, the curse of Nesplikesh, um, off on my arrow guard. Uh, but the first Titan Mortar uh, misfired and uh, broke his weapon, so he can't fire again in this game. The other got a partial hit on the bear guard and killed like four of them, something like that. Not too scary. Uh, my turn. I moved forward um, fairly aggressively where I could. The, I was a bit cautious on the on my right flank over here with the knights. I, I, I wasn't sure how afraid I should be of the giant and the va vassal levis. Um, as it turned out, I was a bit too cautious, I think. Um, my magic phase was pretty uninteresting. Um, I focused quite a lot. I had Two sniper spells, um, Hasten the Hour and uh, Touch of the Reaper. I need a spell Touch of the Reaper on his uh, Battle Sonner Bear, who has no Age save. But I got through the Hasten the Hour, so took one one wound off him. And I raised some, uh, I think I healed um, all the uh, uh, all the Barrow Guard back. Um, but that's about it. I think I also, uh, I, I got a, a bubble he uh, heal arise with the, the general, so I also created more bat swarms, as we'll see in a picture shortly, I think. So this is this is after his charge phase. He charged the Vassal Levis into my barrel guard. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that at the moment. Uh, then he started to reform his disciples, disciples of Lugar to be able to fit through this gap, so he can threaten my bunker here. I could always abandon this bunker and move into the other unit. I wasn't too scared of that um, at this time. Um, he cost Glory of Gold. This unit he still hasn't reformed. This he, he just um, he, he moved those units uh, uh, afterwards. Uh, or, or yeah. he has the new, new position here, but he didn't move all the models. So in Smarty Face, he got Lore of Gold off on these guys. I tried my best to dis uh, stop it. I didn't use the uh, Blinding Skull because this is not the most dangerous unit. Here you can see my bats. They are indeed multiplying. He, his other, uh, other Luger moved up onto the hill. He's not really scared of anything here. Um, shooting, he bombarded the skeletons a bit. They have taken some damage. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't have any pictures of the right flank here, but I think it's uh, you can see here <laughs> that's the base of the Titan, so he's starting to threaten this uh, the center more with that. The, uh, and he also moved up the cavalry to um, to shaft both knights and ghouls. I in his first uh, shooting phase, he also put a uh, incendiary token on my ghouls with the vassal cavalry. Um, this is the one time uh, in the combat we traded some wounds with each other and uh, not, nothing too impressive happened. Um, but I managed to counter charge with my vampire spawn. He didn't really see this coming. Uh, I needed a 10 on, on dice, uh, so it was lucky that I got it through. Uh, so it's right, so of course not super, super lucky, but still. Um, into the flank here, and that, uh, yeah, here we have. Um, the ghouls charged the chef. Uh, and magic, I got spectral blades through on the barrow, barrow guard. I didn't get any raise uh, spells through. I maybe sh should have focused more on that. But I did kill the unit. Uh, the vampire spawn helped immensely. Uh, I just broke that fast. Um, so a bit lucky, but yeah, um, it was neat. And I overran. Uh, stopping one inch short of this unit, which uh, I need an eight, an eight to reach is it, so it wasn't too bad. I had to uh, overrun pretty much to uh, uh, stop this unit from squeezing it through this gap, uh, so that could protect my bunker. But 
rolling 7, which I did was probably the worst thing. Had I rolled 6, I would still have blocked them, but if he had charged, he would have been forced to maximize. Um, as we'll see here, he was able to charge here and not put his wizard, his general, into base contact, and that meant I couldn't kill him, which is what I wanted to do. The Baragars are great at killing characters. Um, but I did ca caught the unit, ca cast the unit with the Vampire Spawn. Uh, what I did in the magic phase before here, here I cast the um, uh, Spectral Blades, of course, here, and I also got the Hand of uh, Glory off on the Ghouls. So they, that they got a, a an age save. Um, they, of course, plowed through these um, this shaft and overran up onto the hill, ready to take the levies and the giant, or either or both or whatever. But I wanted to give them the, the best chance they had at surviving that, so they got a five up age save, which is nice. But maybe I should have used those dice to heal the barrel guard instead. Uh, here we can see that situation. Um, this, I think, is at the end of that turn. Yeah, you can see I overran. Uh, I put... <laughs> the, this whole army has flaming, so my 42 bubble from the Kaldar Wagon is utterly useless, so he's uh, the great two chef. So he's chefing the Kadim Titan at this point. <coughs> um, so that's not great, but uh, what are you gonna do? And the spectral hunters are chaffing these guys. I thought that they would be effective against the giant, but that's apparently he has magical attacks with his whip. Uh, so they, yeah, they are also mostly as chaff. Uh, this scenario, by the way, is breakthrough, and we had uh, marching columns. You should have said that at the start. Man, I'm rusty. But whatever. Um, this is what it looked like at the end of this turn. Um, he charged <coughs> with the Grim Titan, of course, and the Lugar, both of them, uh, and the, the BSB made it into contact, but not the Wizard. Um, and the Levis here didn't charge, but the Giant did into the Ghouls. Uh, the Cadaver Wagon has taken a wound from the dangerous train of the uh, Ruins here. Oh, and he also charged with the giant into the flank of the um, Spectral Hunters. I didn't see that coming. That was his his payback for my uh, sneaky charge, flank charge with the uh, Vampire Spawn. And as we'll see, it was a bit relevant. Um, again, Glory of Gold on this unit. Um, yeah, and this turned out to be a bit of a grind, this combat. Um, this is after that turn, start of my, my turn, I think. So I killed... Yeah, w by the way, uh, I want <laughs> to say something about this situation. Um, in this turn, uh, when I got these spells, uh, th this broke this uh, these levies, I again tried to snipe out this uh, battle sonar bearer. And I uh, used the Touched Reaper, I think he used three dice to ca uh, cast it on his BSB. He tried to dispel it with five dice, but he failed. Great, I thought. He got three dice back, so effectively I got his spell through uh, with three dice, and he lost two dice in the process. <laughs> and then I rolled three hits, thought, great, this is, um, I have a good chance of killing him here, uh, wounding on the three up. And I rolled uh, all below three. So it didn't do any damage. I maybe I didn't even get. I didn't even get the. Um, yeah, I, I did get the uh, veil token, but I did cast spectral blades in the same turn. So uh, you can't get at that twice. So effectively, this spell did nothing. Um, it wasted dice, which was a bit of a shame. But um, whatever. Uh, he charged here, and in the first combat here, we traded some kills. I did manage with my three attacks here from the barrel guard. Uh, to get in a, a little strike on the general uh, on, on the BS, uh, BSB and kill him because they do multiple wounds too, so that was nice. Still, there was I kill like three Lugar. I mean, with five up ages and distracting, they are a tough nut to crack. Um, and these guys killed the um, the shaft, the spectral hunters, and the giant succeeded in an overrun a 
I think he did an, an 8 or a 9 into the bat swarms. And the ghouls here are fighting against the, the giant. Um, doing fairly well. I mean, I do a lot of wounds. In, in the first turn, I had reels to, to hit because I had killed the chef, uh, the chef before that. And I did like 6 wounds and he f failed two of the saves, uh, 3 of saves, so that's nice. And then uh, in this turn I, I had reformed to get more attacks, did 6 or 7 wounds again, uh, which is fairly lucky, not super lucky. Uh, but this time he succeeded all of his saves, which is annoying because I didn't, don't do any damage, which in itself is bad, but I also didn't get the rerolls in, in the next turn. Um, and I, I opt, opted to reform this unit wide to... Uh, um, to force this, these guys to charge uh, charge me, um, so that I could move the uh, the knights up more freely. Um, as it turned out, that was a, a stupid thing to do. Um, yeah, so I'm not looking too good. Uh, here we can see the reformed ghouls moved up the zombies, the shaft, um, the titan, so created a new. Uh, unit of bats to for some future future chef even are not needed in this turn. The um, <coughs> vampire spawn succeeded with the frenzy test and uh, were uh, moved over here to be chef. Um, tough life. This combat with the bats and the gi giant turned out to be a long one. I mean, I have wounds for days, and um, I actually managed to blink a, through, uh, a few wounds through, um, which is neat. Um, in this combat I raised a few a few guys, quite a lot of them, and the grind continues, but I'm, I'm doing very little damage. Um, is that the same picture? No, uh, yeah, this is after combat, so you can see I'm losing guys fast, um, and over here as well. Just four left. Um, these guys held for a turn. Um, yeah, this is after his uh, turn combat, so moving ahead a bit. I w one of these turns I tried to shut down his many face with a bi uh, binding scroll, but he just had too many useful spells that it didn't really matter. Uh, he always had at least one buff up on the these lugers, and that's all he needed to do significant damage, really. Um. <clears throat> so, what else is going on here? Uh, this grind continues. Yeah, no, no, nothing too fancy. Moved up these guys to Chef again. Um, I was torn about what to do with these guys. Uh, I raised some zombies up so they survived another, another turn and charged the knights in here. Um, and this is pretty much the end of the game. Uh, let's see if I have any more. No, that's the last picture. Uh, why can't I go back? It looped one way. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is the last picture then. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what happened here is it, he broke the bats here and managed a, an 8 or 9 overrun in, into the bunker, so they are screwed. Uh, this guy killed uh, off these, uh, these fellas. Uh, the one thing I did manage in the end here was I finally realized that challenging was a good thing here. <clears throat> he kept his wizard out of combat all the, at all times, but by challenging I could uh, either force him to give up the bubble or get a chance to kill him, and if he gave up the, bu the bubble I could break these guys uh, that fast. Uh, he decided to accept it, uh, and over two rounds of combat the uh, Barrow King killed him. Um, he's pretty good at that. And in the end, um, the giant uh, killed the ghouls and charged the flank of the knights. <laughs> Didn't do any damage. The, the knights were uh, like <laughs> a, a brick house. Um, and the giant broke. Uh, the levies held for one turn and then they broke as well. And the last thing that happened was that the knight charged the uh, Kadim Titan. Um, but uh, that was not a fight that was going to end anytime soon. So we called it. Um, he killed everything of mine except the knights. And I killed uh, a giant, some uh, levies, uh, both big units of levies, and yeah, that's about it. So we didn't calculate the points, but I 
think it's some maybe maybe I scored one point or something like that one or two he got the objective of course he's the levies over here the archers moved into the my deployment zone so um yeah that's about it um it was a tough game for me um I, I think Vampire Covenant struggled a bit against uh, Infernal Dwarfs. Um, I could have play, played better, I should have been more aggressive with the knights, I should have just plowed them up there. Uh, I, they, they could have ta tanked uh, the giant and the levis, no problem, and then I would have had, had uh, the ghouls left to try and deal with the um, uh, titan. Uh, so that would have been better. Um, and I should probably have focused more magic on raising the uh, barrel guard to try and win out against those um, Lugers, but <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if I could have beaten them, uh, them anyway. Um, man, that's a tough unit. Tough not to crack. Should have maybe uh, tried more to get the Ancestral Aid through to uh, get reals to wound. Uh, to hit, I mean, instead of Spectral Blades. Um, but, um, I mean, he, that was the spell he dispelled, so, yeah. Didn't really come into play um, but yeah um, I got smash, smashed uh, pretty much and uh, but he had a good time he's a great player this guy and um, uh, really fun to play against actually <laughs> actually I, I've known this guy for years uh, and this is the first time I played against him um, we both host tournaments a lot and we go to each other's tournament and we don't play at our own tournaments uh, so we don't against each other there uh, sometimes we go to uh, other tournaments where we might play but he's a really good player so it's not that often that I get drawn against those uh, uh, types of players uh, and one, one tournament we, we went to we, we were in a team so we couldn't face e uh, each other so yeah um, finally the stars aligned and we did have our battle which was great uh, but yeah I think that's gonna do it for this time uh, the list will be in the, in the show notes and thank you for watching Cheers.